How are you, Philip? Good morning, Mrs. Lacey. Where's Mr. De Winter? I believe he went down to the farm with Mr. Crawley. How tiresome of him not to be here when we arrive, and how typical. I must say old Danvers keeps the house looking lovely. She certainly learnt that trick of arranging flowers from Rebecca. I wonder how she likes it now, being ordered about by an ex-chorus girl. Now, where on earth did you get the idea she's an ex-chorus girl? He picked her up in the south of France, didn't he? What if he did? Well, I mean to say, there you are. How do you do? I, I'm Maxim's wife. How do you do? Well, I must say, you're quite different from what I expected. Oh, but so silly, she's exactly what I told you she'd be. Well, how do you like Mandler? Very beautiful, isn't it? And how do you get along with Mrs. Danvers? Well, I... I've never met anyone quite like her before. You mean she scares you? She's not exactly an oil painting, is she? Giles, <laughs> you're very much in the way here. Go somewhere else. Well, I'll try and find Maxim, shall I? Giles. I, I didn't mean to say anything against Mrs. Danvers. It... Oh, there's no need for you to be frightened of her. But I shouldn't have any more to do with her than you can help. Uh, shall we sit down? Oh, oh, yes, yes, please. You see, she's bound to be insanely jealous at first. And she must resent you bitterly. Why should she? Don't you know? I should have thought Maxine would have told you. She simply adored Rebecca. 